Hello YouTube and welcome to another Doctor Who product review. Today I'm taking a look at the Doctor Who Complete Series 9 Steelbook that just been released over here in the UK that I believe is a UK Amazon exclusive. As of last year this review is mainly going to be based on the actual Steelbook itself and probably the special features on the actual discs, not the actual stories. If you want to see my opinions of the stories that have been in this series I will leave the link to the playlist no doubt in the description and probably at the sidebar thingy as well as I have reviewed all of the episodes from Series 9 except Sleep No More for reasons because it's rubbish so the steel book is something that tends to be taking over at the moment as a lot of different tv shows tend to be getting them and i'll admit i've never actually bought one in my life before so it turns out this is what one looks like it's a steel book thing yay one thing with this it lacks in the majority of all the wording and things and instead it just has a very basic art design on the front and for this one it's not really very basic at all it is in fact absolutely stunning and detailed and amazing but i'll get on to that a little bit later special features wise i do believe it remains exactly the same to that of the standard version so there isn't really anything Think digitally that you're missing out on which is nice so you can get either version but for the price this one is a few pounds more i do believe it's about five pounds as this one 39 and i do believe that the other version is 35 if i remember rightly so you aren't really paying for anything other than the actual steelbook itself so the packaging itself it comes in is i do believe sort of a cell phone wrap as it is an internet thing so it just comes obviously in the post so it is normally cell phone but then we do also have this card wrapping at the bottom of this band at the front and we also have the card at the back as well on the band at the front we have the doctor who logo and the complete ninth series and then just below this we have includes all 12 episodes plus the specials with the bbc logo and of course the 212 stickers at the bottom there and just above this we also have that this series is a six disc one towards the side of the case we also have the other dvd information that we've all seen before so all different 12 and all different things repeated including the blu-ray logo this piece is something that you would normally expect to see on the back of a dvd but in fact this is a cardboard thing as the rest of the actual dvd itself doesn't have any of the details on so if you are unaware of the special features I'll probably recommend keeping this piece of paper as otherwise you'll need to play them to see what is on each disc so it is a rather handy bit of information as you can see you have the lovely image of Jenna which we'll come on to a little bit later and they have at the top the main cast being Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman and then we have all the episodes from series 9 listed including Last Christmas and the Husbands of River Song and then just below this we also have the lovely list of special features which this year is actually looking rather bulky so that's great to see because last year's was okay just a little bit empty in places but it's nice to finally see that they are getting back on track a little bit and towards the bottom of this we have all the standard dvd information once again including running time disc format subtitles and audio navigation the 12 stuff blu-ray logo and what's that at the bottom probably don't eat it and don't give it to children or whatever i don't know that's it for the packaging and for the first time ever the packaging is really simple to remove so that's good isn't it so here is the steel book itself now as i said i've never actually got a steel book before and i was rather surprised to how thin this in fact actually is it, i would actually go as far to say it's probably smaller than just a single disc dvd and yeah it is a very nice and stylish thing actually i'll come in straight into it the artwork is absolutely beautiful it's done by alice x zhang she's done a quite a lot of artwork in the past for doctor who you've probably seen it online just being unaware of it but yeah it's absolutely beautiful what they've done it's took from the end of the zygon inversion i do believe it's sort of based off that and as you can see of the 12th doctor and jenna there on each individual side i've just also taken a look at some of the things alice x zhang has done in the past to name a few we have the titan comics there as you can see this is the ninth doctor with the glowing effect there from the empty child and the doctor dances i just love these covers we also have this version of the titan comics as well with the rainbow effect in the background she's done one similar to this for each individual doctor it's just perfect i think that she's a brilliant artist and honestly i'm looking forward to seeing more of her work in the future so this piece of artwork has in fact been made exclusive for this release so you can't actually find this anywhere else and in front of the dvd we do have peter there and literally that's it we just have peter and the lovely background as you can see the image itself is very sharp very beautifully detailed i cannot fault the artwork in any way i think it looks stunning we have all different lines around the face looks exactly like peter i love the work on the hair as well i think all the different highlights in there are brilliant as well and i just love the way that they've brought it to life very artistic and towards the bottom we have the costume as well with his hood and things now i do really like the way that this has been done it is of course black we do have different shades of gray and things in there as well which is nice and then we also have the different flakes of red coming around there as well which i do really like the way that that's been done we sort of have this vortex effect in different places and some sort of circular lines making it look very much like gallifrey and text it's rather faint in places there is some here and here some sort of roundel style effect i almost guess anyway Moving up to the top part of the background there, we have all these different lovely flake sort of patterns and these different scratches. I just love the way that it's been done. I would imagine that it's quite a watercolour style effect, maybe some sort of pastel style. 
on the back of the steelbook, we of course have Jenna playing Clara or arguably Bonnie, I don't know, but it's from the Zygon version anyway, and it's in a really nice costume. Once again, we have a bit more green on this one. Same thing applies, it looks absolutely stunning. Jenna's likeness there is brilliant, I just love the details on the face, especially the lips and the eyes, really bringing it to life. And then the costume below this, once again, it's black, but this time, as opposed to the red style of pastel effect added over the top, this time we have these really nice green brush strokes, which have been brought across the whole back design, which is nice, and it does sort of seep into the end of the other side as well, but as you can see, that's been really well done. A different red effect up here as well. And I love the way that the red has also been blended into the hair. And then towards the bottom, we also have this green pastel effect as well. And I just love the details here. Of the fit. I just think it's stunning. The top there as well, we have the scratch detailing. Honestly, I cannot fault this artwork in any way. So that's the artwork. Moving on to the other bits of detailing on the Steelbook release. As you can see, we have the Doctor Who logo there as well as Series 9 and more of the sort of that artwork background effect, which is nice. Not really other than that too much to talk about. We have a bit more detailing spread across the top there with a few sort of red flakes and things and then the other side as well we have the ridge as well and the split where we would have the handle in there so you can of course open it there opening the steel book is simple it's just a simple steel book opening as you can see revealing the discs inside as i said i've never got a steel book before so i was rather unaware of how they would display this now unlike the standard release where it's in the tray style of format as seen on the very early doctor who series releases this time they've crammed them all together in sort of stacks so it means if you want one from the very back you do need to take the whole of that row out which can be a little bit convenient but either way it's a very nice space saving thing making the case very nice and small and very compact which is nice and then on the inside once again a really nice action piece actually the promotional material for our series 9 once the discs have been removed we have this really nice image of the Toth Doctor and Clara running from an explosion and I do believe in fact that this was the first thing that we actually seen from series 9 see how nice very dramatic and very fitting actually considering it's a two-sided disc thing I do believe that this is in fact ironically the artwork that is used from the series 9 just standard release so it sort of proves how lazy they went to just to include that one on the front even though it's a nice image i would have sort of expected something a little bit better to be honest which is the main reason that i went for this version one thing that also comes with a still book is this really nice little booklet it's nothing new to be honest it's just a little thing but we have doctor who's series nine facts really nice artwork actually which some of you may not know but this is in fact a little bit of a replica and a little bit of a playoff of the initial daleks book as you can see with doctor in the dark saying william hartnell on the front i really like this recreation actually so you have the pink tardis there the twelfth doctor it's just beautifully done i really like that addition from the target novels actually is it's sort of a nice little novelty thing and then on the inside we have also different facts and things from each individual story like last christmas for example a fact it was disappointing missions apprentice it was a really good story and it made people think that series 9 was going to be brilliant and very cinematic or under the lake yeah, that one was fun, wasn't it? Or a really unknown fact for the girl who died, actually. I found this on the internet the other day, and I don't think nobody actually knows this. And um, Maisie Williams was in it. Yeah, very surprising, that one, isn't it? I've got facts on the other page. It's nothing new, to be honest. And if you know Doctor Who, you probably know this already. They are sleeping no more, for example. It was a bad story. That's a fact for you. Face the Raven. It was a good story. Heaven Sent. Brilliant story. Hellbent. Hmm. Then even on the back we have some information there of Davros looking very dramatic, I do believe that is in fact from series 4 and then we have BBC. We have a little bit of a biography, Peter Capaldi returns as the Doctor alongside Jenna Coleman and guest star from Game of Thrones, Maisie Frickin' Williams. Taking a look at the discs now, as you can see, we've got the confession dial design, which I think if the BBC didn't do this, they would be absolutely ridiculous. It's such the obvious thing to do. But as you can see, the really nice design around the outside, and in the middle, we have an image replicating one of the stories as on the disc to make it look like sort of the confession dial is opened and that's inside. So we have all the different blue ren stuff detailing information, but this time on this one, I have Davros and the Twelfth Doctor, as this is disc one and it has Last Christmas, The Magician's Apprentice, and some special features. Next disc is disc two, so once again, we have the Twelfth Doctor on there once again the confession dial and then we have of course a really nice image there from before the flood this disc includes the witch's familiar under the lake and before the flood and also some special features disc three once again a very similar promotional app with the 12th doctor jenna coleman and is that Maisie Williams? And then we have at the top here the girl who waited, the woman who lived, and then with the Zygon inversion as well, some special features as well. On disc 4, a very unusual image actually, we have the 12th Doctor and Osgood, and on disc 4 we have the Zygon inversion, that one, first the Raven, and some special features. Final disc technically for series 9, once again we have the confession dial, but this time we have the Lord President Rassilon with his staff looking very menacing, unlike how he was in the story. Uh. Then we of course have disc 5, Heaven Sent, a brilliant story, Hell bent a less so good story and of course some special features and to end off the series on disc six we have the 12th doctor and river song as this is the husbands of river song disc so and some special features so now moving on to the digital content this is where my review becomes a lot harder because i can't in fact show you 
what is on the discs. Even if I record it from the other side of my living room, from my TV, I'm not allowed to use it because the BBC are annoying and quite frankly they'll probably send around Michael Grade and a massive knife to go and kill me. So I'm going to need to show you instead for the power of RT imagery and drawing interpretations of what the special features are. So that's going to be fun, isn't it? First off, we have the menu selection sequence. Now this is actually really nice, very visually appealing. We have Scar on there, we have the Daleks, we have M. Gallifrey, we even have the castle from Heaven Sent and a few little bits of clips and things from the series. It's a really nice sort of summarisation of the series itself and genuinely looks really nice. Of course, you can't see that. Instead, you're just going to need to take my pretty drawings. Oh well. And special feature for the box set is Doctor Who Extra. It's basically the exact same thing that we've seen from the Doctor Who official YouTube channel. It's confidential, but on a lot less budget and basically just stripped down to this very small excuse of what they would call Doctor Who confidential these days. But yeah, it is okay. We do have a few behind the scenes interviews in there, a bit of an insight into how the episode was made. Not too much of an insight though, but genuinely it is still okay and it is nice that they added it to the box set. Next up we have the prologue, this is something that actually aired before The Magician's Apprentice, which yep, that's another thing that you can actually find on YouTube, so nothing new there, it is okay, if a little bit filler. After that we have a 7 minute minisode called The Doctor's Meditation, this was previously only available in America, once again nothing special really here at all, just a simple little episode where we have Peter Capaldi wandering around trying to make a well, that sounds as interesting as it probably actually is. Next up we have Writing Doctor Who, a really nice 10 to 15 minute documentary that is possibly one of the best things the BBC has actually made for a special feature in quite a long time. It entitles script to screen of how they made Fizz the Raven and mainly focuses around Sarah Dollard's time on Doctor Who. It's generally a really interesting thing actually and I do highly advise this box set just for the sheer little documentary alone. Even if it is quite a hefty price for one series, it is a great little idea and I did really enjoy it. Next up, in case you weren't aware, Clara got hit by a giant bird this year on Doctor Who, so she sort of died. But yeah, in celebration of this, we do have this really nice little documentary entitling Jenna's time on Doctor Who over the past three or so years. Genuinely, it's something that you would sort of expect. It is quite nice. We do have an interview with Jenna that is repeated several times throughout the box set using different clips here and there. But genuinely, it is quite a nice little thing, a nice little tribute to Jenna, and some footage that I haven't in fact seen of her before, doing little things on the TARDIS and her first day on the TARDIS. This is very interesting, actually. And I did quite enjoy it. Also similar in this format, we also get something called The Adventures of River Song, which is basically entitling the whole of River Song's journey on Doctor Who, which I think is quite an interesting thing once again, and a similar thing to the Clara one. It is quite interesting. If you're a Doctor Who fan, though, you've seen it all before, obviously. But yeah, we do have a bit of stock footage in there, along with an interview with Alex Kingston. It's genuinely quite interesting, but once again, just a little bit filler in places, but I do believe also, once again, interestingly exclusive to this box set. We also get a mini little documentary with Peter Capaldi and Stephen Moffat called Dark Devotion, which is basically 10 minutes of seeing how amazing Daleks are. It is quite fun, Peter Capaldi has a few lines here and there, and Stephen Moffat says his odd, predictable stuff, but yeah, it is quite interesting. Peter Capaldi's fun, I guess, and it is nice to see an odd Dalek thing here and there. We also get two interviews on the box set, one being with Will Wheaton, a presenter on American TV. That's quite fun. If you like interviews, you will love this interview because it is quite an interesting one, Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman. And something that people do quite like is we've actually got this year the 2016 full Comic Con panel from last year, which is a great addition to the set. Once again, we have had similar things in the past, but it's actually been cut down quite dramatically. This year, though, from what I can remember, it's actually quite a long, lengthy one and it hasn't really been edited to an extent that much, which is a great thing to see. So, as a predictor, a little bit of filler would you of course get the series 9 trailers from the launch ones from the episode ones from the mid-season ones whatever trailers they're probably on this box set but yeah it's a nice thing to have because it's nice to see how they promoted the series here and there i guess but yeah it's sort of just a bit filler really once again you can find them anywhere online nothing too exciting but it is still a nice addition to the set on a more interesting note now, however, we do have the deleted scenes. Now, this is about 25 minutes worth of content that was cut from stories, which at first sounding, that sounds brilliant, but really on watch, it's nothing really interesting at all. There isn't really any notable scenes in there that really got me. Oh, that should have stayed in. There is a nice one, though, however, between the Doctor and Maisie Williams, I do believe from The Woman Who Lived, where we do have a bit of a flashback to her time when her children died, and there is a bit of a lengthy scene there that was cut out, which may have deserved to be in the story other than others. But other than that, there isn't really anything to it, just running about and going ooh at stuff and yeah ironically sleep no more doesn't in fact have hardly any deleted scenes somehow shame the full episode wasn't deleted to be honest 
Next up, we have the Doctor Who fan show at its finest, which is another thing which is basically just a montage of clips that are available on the BBC YouTube channel of the Doctor Who fan show that has aired throughout this year. Once again, nothing to get excited about, really, and it doesn't really fit in with the other content, to be honest, considering that other stuff is like interviews, things like that. This just seems to be a bit of an odd one out thing, I don't really understand why they included it. However, there is quite a nice little few clips from a Peter Capaldi interview which are quite interesting, but still, it okay edition. And then the final bit of content, special feature wise, is the Doctor do commentaries for a few episodes throughout this series. Personally, I'm going to say I've not even watched them because I'm not really a fan of commentaries and including the fact that Peter Capaldi, Jenna Coleman and Stephen Moffat aren't even in them, yeah, I don't really seem too attracted to them to be honest because I'm not a fan of uh, commentaries in the first place. Yeah, if you've listened to the commentaries, why not put them down below and say what you thought of them. Also, just adding in what I think of the Blu-ray edition on this box set itself, it looks brilliant. Honestly, I think that this series is one of the best visually appealing series since the revival. It looks great. So some of the sequences between Gallifrey and Scarrow, they look absolutely brilliant, something that belongs in a film, I would actually say, and overall the series itself has been directed brilliantly anyway, so I definitely think that this series is one to buy on Blu-ray for sure. However, it is to note that some of the Dalek I start glowing in The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch's Familiar are in fact present on the Blu-ray release, so that is something to note. But overall, it is a great box set, some great special features on there, something for everyone from interviews, behind the scenes, trailers, whatever else, and it is genuinely a box set that's actually had some effort in for once. So overall for this product, it is quite an expensive release, I will be honest. If you already have the Christmas specials, that already knocks the value off, and if you don't really like the special features, then it is becoming a little bit pointless, and I would advise probably buying the single releases that were released earlier this year and in late 2015. However, that said, for the more expensive price, you do get the really nice steelbook. Even though it doesn't really fit in with the other previous releases from the other series, it is genuinely really nice and stylish, it's unique, it's not like any other series that has been released before for Doctor Who. So in that turn it is quite nice. Digitally you're not paying for absolutely anything else as this is exactly the same to the standard release. You're just essentially paying for the nicer steelbook. Essentially it is down to the opinion of the user. Digitally as I said there is nothing in it at all and either way on both releases digitally there is a great amount of special features for you and possibly the best amount of special features that we've had in a long time on Doctor Who releases. So it's just down to the fact of if you would rather have one that fits in with your older releases or one that's slightly different and works with a lot more artistic effects. Effects. So thanks for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please do give it a big like and please subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions please do leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them at some point in the near future. Thanks again for watching and I shall see you all next time. So thanks for watching and bye for now.